warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuhu I am the Mang Fatima Alina and welcome to my vlog My content is we are going to answer some questions from my Facebook friends because lately I post something on my social media on my Facebook account about this um, ask me something about college life so we're going to answer it please keep on watching so here's the first question the first question is is it stressful in college life yes it was really really stressful college life is not as easy as we thought it was really hard and full of activities also English major is very brain cracking college is innately stressful from paying for schools and taking exams to filling out internships applications college students can face overwhelming pressure and demands college students commonly experience stress because of increased responsibilities lack of food time management changes in eating and sleeping habits and not taking enough breaks for self-care transitioning to college can be a source or um, can be a source of stress for foremost first year students one eternity later so here's the next question um, what are the differences between college life and high school life Um, when we say college life, it's all about maturity and being independent. Um, it's kind of hard, but it's fun. Um, as a first year college student, sometimes it's hard for me to adjust to my environment, surroundings, my behavior, and my attitude towards my classmates and um, schoolmates. Um, which is in high school it's kind of opposite to my high school life in college you have um, more independence than when you were in senior high school or high school life but here's the catch you also need to shoulder more responsibilities in college you'll have the freedom to choose your class schedule college students often have vacant hours in between classes that can run throughout the day go ahead to our uh, next questions the third one so the third question is is college life full of works activities and performance tasks yes it is it is really really full of school works like um right now i am full of um school works like video reporting debate oral recitation and our upcoming finals which is very very stressful but they say um extra curricular curricular activities help students to learn about themselves and develop and use their skills and knowledge in different contexts full of school works like video reporting debate and our upcoming finals which is very very stressing and also extracurricular activities help students to learn about themselves and develop and use their skills and knowledge in different contexts next question we're moving on to um, question number four <laughs> the question number four is do college students have enough sleep no. actually for real i don't know about others but as for me right now that i am in college <laughs> as a college student I can say that I only have three to four hours sleep every night. I don't know why. Maybe because I can't sleep because um, of my school problems. But I sleep if I'm done. 
um, more than 70% of college students say that they get less than 8 hours of sleep a day. 60% of college students say that they are dragging tired or sleepy at least 3 days a week. More than 80% of college students says loss of sleep negatively affects their academic performance. The reality is that many students are overworked. Many take a packed course load, work a part-time job, and still try to find to be social. Um, however, a lack of sleep can be severely hurt grades among other things. Many college students cram before a test and pull an all-nighter, staying awake until the early hours of the morning. This ends up hurting in the long run as being sleep deprived impacts the skills needed to do well on the test like um, memory recall and concentration. In fact, many students who pull an all-nighter often end up having have lower GPAs. Moving on to our next question. The next question is What time do you sleep? Does have enough sleep? Anytime, anywhere, everywhere. Sure. For real, I sleep at 2 or 3 a.m. Maybe when I can't endure my trustness or when I'm done doing my activities. Moving to our next question. The next question is What is my favorite subject? My favorite subject is mathematics. Um, maybe because I love problem solving, though I can't solve my own problem. <laughs> but for real, I love mathematics because my uncle is a mathematician. He is a math teacher and he tend to teach me before when I'm in elementary to high school. But now he is too busy to do what he do usually. Also, in mathematics, helps to develop um, logical and critical thinking. It equips the child with uniquely powerful ways to um, describe and analyze and change the world. Albert Einstein once said, Pure mathematics is in its way. The poetry of logical ideas. So, mathematics is the language of science. So let's move on again to our next question. So the next question is tips. Huh. Um, a tips for a better study. <laughs> How to study? For me, an effective tips for a better studying is um have up a proper sleep um maybe if you sleep early like um 7 or 8 a.m after dinner and you wake up at 1 p.m to study because according to scientific study our brain will function perfectly at 1 a.m to 6 a.m that's what i believe to our next question the question the question is what are the important things that you have to bring on the first day of class <laughs> I remember my first day at the first day of class in college you should bring your own index card ball pen one by one and two by the picture brain and energy because some instructors will sometimes ask for that well some instructors will do um like um introduce yourself like that <laughs> maybe next um next question is what are the important things to bring every day You should start your day with a prayer. You should pray 
for whatever happens for your life the whole day. And when you're in school, you should bring your brain, um, water, money, white or yellow paper, and don't forget the bulb. Also, read some, um, you know, dictionary because some instructors will do, um, like surprise quiz and activities. <laughs> you guys should remember this because this is really helpful when you are in college. The last question. What is my stress reliever? Skip. My stress reliever is my cat. Yabby and him. Shut up. <laughs> Joke. Um, Yabby is indeed really my stress reliever. Also, when I play some Ayat and Sura, um, they're my stress relievers. My friends, my classmates, and him. <laughs> Here's some tips for everyone who's um, incoming first year, college next year, or next next year. So, how would you manage your stress level as a college student? Try to avoid people who stress you out. Further, if you cannot avoid stressful situations, try to um, alert it. Express your feelings, don't bottle them up, and manage your time better. Moreover, you can also adapt to the stressor if you can change it. Essential skills for college students such as time management, stress management, study skills, money management, assertive skills, well-developed self-care skills, keep being safe and avoiding risky behaviors, and seeking assistance when needed. What do college students struggle with? Many people struggle with mental health problems during their college years, trying to juggle schoolwork, extracurricular activities, friends, and family, while also trying to figure out the direction of the rest of your life is an enormous challenge, and it has gotten worse over the past years. Why is college life so stressful? College students commonly experience stress because of increased responsibilities, a lack of good time management, changes in eating and sleeping habits, and not taking enough breaks for self-care. Transitioning to college can be a source of stress for most first-year students. Also, what is a college life? A college life is one of the most remarkable and lovable times of an individual's life. Unlike school life, college life has a different experience, and a person needs to have this experience in his or her life. College life exposes us to whole new experiences, which we always dream of experiencing after our school life. Why college is hard? Yes. College classes are typically harder than high school classes because the coursework, topics, and depths of materials are more complex, set at a faster pace, and require more studying. Be ready before classes start. Transitioning from high school to college can be a big change for students as they embark on their own, with many moving away from family and friends for the first time. For those stressing over this new life chapter and place uncertainties, there are ways to prepare before starting those first classes. From researching academic support to developing strong interpersonal skills, the following tips that help incoming freshmen get organized and build a foundation for college students. So, drink plenty of water. While studying for exams and even during an exam, it is advisable to drink water. Remaining hydrated is vital and adds to your overall positive breath load. Organize study groups with friends. Study groups can help you get the answers you need and finish class faster. Just make sure the group is focused on the subject and they are not easily distracted. So that's all for my vlog. For an incoming college, that's a problem. <laughs>
get ready we all can do this fight fight thanks for watching everyone have a nice day keep safe uh, wait before we end this vlog i have some song for you guys Thank you for watching. Bye.